is up everyone in the ripple and xrp community good morning happy monday the start of a new work week and for me myself i thought this was a payday friday but we got paid last friday all is good but we have monday off i can't wait big plans ahead for my weekend listen without further ado a lot to go over. Let's just jump into this bad boy. Make sure you give me a follow on Twitter, XRP News underscore over 61,000. Thank you to each and every one of you. Like, subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's XRP right now. Let's talk about the market. What is going on? Listen, it was a bloody weekend. Nothing but blood. No one knew when it was going to end. For now, we're seeing a little bit of relief. Bitcoin's up 6% in the last 24 hours. XRP's up about 7% in the last 24 hours. Total market cap is up to about 1.5 trillion. Still missing a trillion dollars from this market. And the Bitcoin dominance continues to rise, sitting at 45%. Now, let's talk about this. Do we really believe that the worst of this is over? Or do we think this is a fake out and we're going back down? Or do we think this is it? It's time to, you know, go sideways and slowly build back up. I don't know. Tough to say. What I do know is I have my, my eyes on key numbers here. Bitcoin, 40,000 is the first key number I got my eyes on. To kind of give me more faith, a little bit more hope that the bloody days are over. XRP needs to get it back above a dollar. So time will tell. I mean. Hey, it's nice waking up and seeing an 87 cent XRP. We dipped all the way down to 66 cents. Bitcoin was flirting around 30K. It was crazy. But that's crypto. That's the world we live in. So from here, who knows where we're going to go. But I tell you one thing. There is a boatload of money sitting in stable coins waiting on the sideline waiting to buy. The question is, when is all that money going to be deployed into the market? And what are they going to buy? Time will tell, people. All right, let's jump over to the TA. Up first from Dr. Fender. And Dr. Fender has been spot on, people. Make sure you give him a follow. It says, hi there. XRP went a little down below our support and made a reversal towards a dollar as we expected. She closed above 75 cents on the daily. And then it's four hour, which is good. 75 cents is a very strong. And I don't want to see her break here. I am reiter reiterating, technically she hasn't finalized the uptrend yet. So what Dr. Fender is saying is 75 cents is a great level to be at. A lot of strong resistance sitting over there. We need to look above that a dollar level. And then we can really say that we, we have flipped this back over and the bulls are back in charge. Until then, head on the swivel. Keep your eyes open. Let's see what's about to go down. And then here's something very interesting. Lisa Edwards, one of the nicest people on all of Twitter, tweets this out. XRP right now. I am loading up. We are on a long-term support. Wish me luck. Joel Catch chimes in. What did she say? I'm blocked. Very interesting. What do I think is going on here? I just think that David Schwartz can't come out and be like, hey, Lisa, you're right. I think he's kind of giving us the little head nod saying, yep. We're in long-term support right here. We're about to go up. He's agreeing with everything that she is saying. This is his way. This is his legal way of telling us this. Then we move over to my man, 360 Trader. He's giving you the BTC, the downtrend line that we need to test. 37,280 is the first line up for Bitcoin to test. If it breaks that, he's then looking at 39,590. As I told you, my eyes are set on 40 thousand then we can get into bigger and better discussions of where this market is going but is the bull market over absolutely not did this correction come sooner before most including myself expected yes it did i thought we would get another run up before we got the correction but we got our big massive sell-off our big massive dump correction crash whatever you want to call it so now the prices are going to find themselves their new grounds. They're going to stabilize before we push back up. This bull run is going to continue. You're still going to see a double-digit XRP this year. People, hang tight. And then from Michelle, XRP1776. Check this out. This article <coughs> coming over from Routers. Central banks from China to Britain and Sweden are looking to develop digital currencies to modernize 
their financial systems to ward off the threat from cryptocurrencies and speed up domestic and international payments. We know where this is going. SWIFT, SWIFT GPI, it's all going to be replaced. It is an old system. It's like you using an iPhone 3 today. It just doesn't work. SWIFT has to go or they need to adopt the fastest digital asset out there, which is XRP. Their old messaging system isn't going to work. These banks do not want to hold trillions of dollars and <clears throat> excuse me, and dormant capital around the world waiting to be able to make settlements. They need to get on to blockchain and DLT. And we know Ripple is leading the charge with their use of XRP. XRP is the most is the fastest, most efficient bridge currency this world has ever seen. Remember that. And then from the Cryptic Poet, South Korean Seam Bank moved to develop a pilot for digital currencies. We know South Korea loves XRP. There is no doubt in my mind that South Korea has already tapped into Ripple to get a private copy of the XRP ledger. They are building out their digital currency on top of the XRP ledger. And when they are ready to go live, they will tap into uh, Ripple's liquidity pool. And they will use XRP to bridge the network of central bank digital currencies. And then for Michael, at Thou 5 links another exchange is now has relisted XRP. Bexplux has relisted XRP. XRP's high volatility has made a comeback and currently presents more opportunities for traders to make profits. Love to see this. Hashtag relist XRP. And then for Michael, again, I'm not going to pull up this article from Fox Business just because they are covered in ads and random videos that pop up and it was destroying my laptop. But check this out. It's an article they put out, Fox Business, about Elon Musk. They're pretty much saying that Elon Musk is the reason for the dump. When he tweets, people listen. He tweets negative, price goes down. He tweets positive on, Doge, on Dogecoin, the price goes up. You know the story, people. I don't have to go over it for you. But what I want to segue into here is something very interesting. Most of you probably have not seen this. So this tweet comes out from Barry Silbert on the 22nd, two days ago. He says, what if there was one company that was behind most of the Bitcoin energy usage fudge? FUD. Now that would make for a sensational story for somebody to write. Then this lady, Meltem DeRose, never even heard of her, but she got the blue check. Someone important. She goes, it starts with Rip and it ends with Ripple. They also spent most of the lobbying the last three years. So she's hinting at that Ripple is the ones, that they are the puppets behind all of this, that they are all of a sudden controlling Elon Musk and telling him what to do about Bitcoin. Don't worry about any of the research that has been put out there, any of the governments that have done research into this about the Bitcoin energy usage. Apparently it's all fake news and it's all fun. And apparently, just apparently, Ripple is behind it. Apparently, Ripple has nothing else to do. And the last three years, they have been making up all these stories and all these crazy numbers about, about Bitcoin and its energy consumption and how it's not good for the planet. You talk to any Bitcoin maximalist out there, they'll tell you. And Pop was just asked this on Julia Chatterley's show. She said, Pop, talk about the Bitcoin energy. 70% of it's renewable. She says, well, we actually looked into this and there is no there is no proof and there is no studies about this. So how do you know this? He couldn't answer the question. That's what the Bitcoin maxis keep telling you, but they never have an answer. But all of a sudden, Ripple has been the one pulling the strings and controlling Elon Musk. Listen to Brad's statement. He goes, it's beyond flattering that you think Ripple is the puppet master behind, behind Elon Musk. Countless scientists, governments, crypto enthusiasts, and others who have all stated the facts about Bitcoin's energy use. He's dead on. But they are now. The new story is, is that Ripple is really the one controlling the strings. Ripple, Brad and Chris. Listen, Elon must have lost the bet to Brad and Chris. That's all I know. It must have been a good bet. Because Elon supposedly is now doing whatever Brad and Chris, maybe David Chua says. He's the one that's putting out these fake numbers to crash Bitcoin. Are you kidding me? I have never heard such a joke in my life. But listen, these, these Bitcoin people, 
they need to blame someone. They can't blame Bitcoin because that's where their investment is. So they need to blame someone, something, somehow, some way. And now they're going after Ripple. Makes sense, doesn't it? It's unbelievable. Now let's jump over to this. From Panda XRP, this is absolutely massive. Financial Inclusion Global Initiative published a report on the security aspects of distributed ledger technology. Ripple and XRP are both mentioned. Check out the table which shows the Ripple consensus algorithm is being used, utilized at a federate level. So let me pull this up for you. Give it a second to load. It says use of DLTs by central banks. It says despite the security issues, financial infrastructure based on blockchain technology can potentially reduce cost of compliance, increase ease in adapting to changing regulatory requirements, and promote more efficient markets. Specifically, the range of emerging DLTs such as IOTA, Hashgraph, and Ripple can be used for various financial operations such as settling interbank payments, very trading fee, finance, trade finance invoices, and executing performance of contracts and keeping audit trails. We hop over to the next slide. A consensus protocol in use in various DLT types. This is showing you all the different protocols in use for the various digital ledger technology types. As we scroll down, we go to federated ripple consensus algorithm. It says ripple consensus algorithm proceeds in rounds and each round four steps occur. Initially, each server takes all validated transaction it has been seen prior to beginning of consensus round that have not already been applied. It is declared to the public in the form of a list known as a candidate set. The server has the responsibility to combine the candidate set for all servers on its UNL. It then votes for the transaction with a yes or a no. Votes after verifying the transactions. Receive a minimum percent of yes votes is considered to be the criteria to move into the next round. Usually 50% uses this DLS process as a BFT. So they're talking about the Ripple payment system and crypto to crypto to currency payments. And if a financial system interbank transfers, here they are talking about. Ripple is used is using its global Ripple Net payment system to connect a number of developing countries together to undertake interbank transfers through the XRP cryptocurrency. The solution, especially since it bypasses SWIFT, is touted to de-risk and insert liquidity to markets by enabling remittance flows to countries that have impacted by removal or refusal of correspondent banking. Ripple's XRP asset using its XRapid system has been in place for interbank transfers and are finalized over the local payment systems with add just over two minutes to payments. Speeding up from settlement times of two to three days on legacy systems. We're going from two to three days to just two minutes, people. Portions of the payments that rely on XRP last two to three seconds, minimizing exposure to price volatility. And that was one of the biggest pieces of FUD when XRP first busted on the scene. It is so volatile, who wants to hold it? And Brad Gollinghouse came out and crushed that. He said you were only exposed to XRP, XRP for two to three seconds when you were being exposed to fiat for two to three days. The fiat is more volatile here. This is absolutely tremendous news. And I'm going to cover this later today on XRPRightNow.com. Coming out from the Financial Inclusion Global Initiative, talking about Ripple and XRP and replacing SWIFT and how it's speeding up the old system, people. This is huge. Listen, I'm going to leave it there. Let's keep your eyes on the market. 40000 for Bitcoin. Need to get above a dollar for XRP. Then we can start talking about a nice reversal. Listen, enjoy your Mondays. Wash your damn hands. Be nice and be kind to each other. Ripple Van Winkle is out.